Last Sunday, we celebrated Jesus' resurrection on Easter morning. We proclaimed, Jesus is risen, to celebrate that grief, death, loss, and pain don't have the final word. Jesus shows us with his resurrection that life, peace, and joy get the last word. Today we hear about where Jesus went after he left the tomb. Last week we learned about Easter morning, but today we learn about Easter evening. That evening Jesus went to see his friends. And in our scripture passage, we also hear about a friend who wasn't at that Easter dinner, but who Jesus went to see one week later, a disciple named Thomas. Before we read our passage, here's our Bible verse of the week. John 20, verse 21. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. Here it is again. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. Let's prepare our hearts to hear God's word to us. Turn with me to John 20, verses 19 to 31. When it was evening on that day, the day of the resurrection, the first day of the week, the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Judeans. On that day, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw that it was the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you release the sins of any, they are released them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. But Thomas, who was called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, put my finger in the mark of the nails and my hand in his side, I will not believe. A week later, the disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were shut, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Do not doubt any more, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and still come to believe. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these that are written are so that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that through believing you may have life in his name. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Friends, peace be with you. Though Jesus knew his friends were afraid, Jesus visits them and says, Peace. Jesus joined them in their fear, and he said, Peace. And his friends rejoiced. They were amazed, and they were excited to see him. And then Jesus did something that we might find strange, especially us today, living in the fear of a pandemic. Jesus breathes on them. Receive the Holy Spirit, he says. In a few weeks, our church will celebrate Pentecost, the birthday of every church, the day when God sent the Holy Spirit to people from all over the world while they were gathered in the city Jerusalem. 
But on that very first night after Jesus was raised, Jesus gives his friends an early birthday present. He gives them the Holy Spirit right away. And he says, As the Father has sent me, so I send you. Jesus was sent to offer love to his neighbors and to practice his incredible ministry of miracles and of caring for those in need and ultimately going to the cross and rising from the grave. And now Jesus sends us to do those same things. Being sent, of course, isn't easy. Two weeks ago, we read that Jesus was afraid before he was arrested. Today we read that the disciples were scared. And I'm sure there are days when we're afraid too. But that's why Jesus gives us the Holy Spirit. To give us peace for the days when we're afraid. To give us the strength to continue when we're tired and when we're unsure. When Jesus gives us the Holy Spirit, in this passage, it reminds me of Psalm 23. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Comfort, peace, support. These are the gifts, just a few of them that Jesus gives us when he breathes on us, when he sends us out, and when he gives us the Holy Spirit. As we journey this week in school, with our families and friends, through our fears, let's remember, you and me, that the Holy Spirit is with us to give us peace. This week, go in peace. Take care.